Hey guys, today we are looking at independent events. We're going to answer the question, what are independent events and how can the probability of them be determined? So independent events are two or more events where the outcome of one event de does not affect the outcome of the other event. Independent probability can be determined by multiplying the probability of each event happening. And remember, the probability is the favorable out of the total number of outcomes. So you'll find both of the probabilities, the probability of the first event and the second event, and you will multiply them together. So most of the time when this happens, we will be multiplying fractions. Um, when finding the probability of compound or multiple independ independent events, we have to multiply the fractions. So here's a review of how to multiply the fractions. Remember, you want to cross simplify the fractions if possible, and then you just multiply straight across and simplify the final answer. So let's look at number one. It says Sean has a bag of coins that are shown to the right. He is going to draw a coin, replace it, then draw another. Determine the probability of each event. So the first thing we want to determine is the drawing a striped coin and a checkered coin. Um, if you didn't notice, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins in total. So we will definitely need to use that to write the probabilities. So let's start with the striped coin. There is one out of the eight total coins that are striped. So the probability of the striped coin is one out of eight. And then the checkered coins, there are one, two coins that are checkered. So that is going to be two out of eight, which simplifies to one over four. And to find their probability, we will multiply these together. And I just multiply straight across. One times one is one. And then four times eight or eight times four is 32. So the probability of drawing a striped coin and a checkered coin is one out of 32. Let's look at the second one. It says drawing a dotted coin and a zigzag coin. So a dotted coin, there are one, two, three of those. So the dotted coin is gonna have a probability of three out of eight. And then the zigzag coins, there's two of those. So that probability is two out of eight, which simplifies to one over four. So I'm gonna do three out of eight times one over four to find the, the probability of drawing a dotted coin and a zigzag coin. So now I just multiply across and three times one is three and eight times four is 32. So the probability of that is three out of 32. All right, then the last one, it says drawing a checkered coin, which we already figured out the probability of that on part A, that was one out of four. And a zigzag coin, which we figured out on part B was also one out of four. And now I just multiply these together. One times one is one, four times four is 16. So that probability would be one out of 16. Let's look at number two. It says find the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads all three times. So if we flip a coin and get heads, that probability is one out of two. And I'm gonna do that three times. So I just multiply one half three times. And I multiply this across one times one times one is one. Two times two is two, sorry, two times two is four, and then four times two is eight. So this probability of flipping a coin and getting heads all three times would be one out of eight. Number three says the two spinners at the right are spun. What is the probability of landing on a yellow and an even number? So let's start with the yellow. You have a one out of four chance of landing on the yellow. And then an even number, that means you would be landing on a two or a four on this spinner. So that would be two out of four, which simplifies to one half. So to find this probability, I'm gonna multiply one fourth times one half 
one times one is one and four times two is eight. So that probability would be one out of eight. All right, let's look at number four. A penny is tossed and a die is rolled. What is the probability of landing on tails and a five? So let's find each of these probabilities first. A pen penny tossed and landing on tails would have a one out of two probability. And then a die being rolled and landing on a five would have a one out of six probability. So now I will just multiply these together. One times one is one and two times six is 12. So their probability is one out of 12. Okay, and number five, it says in a prize box, there are three sunglasses, four stickers and three pencils. David will randomly select a prize, replace it, then draw another prize. What is the probability that he selects a sticker, then sunglasses? So I need to find both these probabilities and then multiply them together. So let's start with the sticker. There are four stickers out of the three plus four is seven plus three is 10 out of the total prizes in the box. And that simplifies to two over five. So the probability of a sticker is two out of five. And then let's figure out the probability for the sunglasses. There are three sunglasses out of the 10 total prizes. So now I'm gonna multiply these together to find their probability. So two over five times three over 10, that would be two times three is six and five times 10 is 30. And both of these numbers are divisible by, sorry, five times 10 is 50, not 30. And both of these numbers are divisible by two. So that simplifies to three out of 25. 